Hey guys, welcome back to the Law of Attraction. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with this term, with this supposed law of existence, of creation itself. It's been made very popular by certain books and movies and people and teachers. And it's great. It actually is a law of creation. It actually is a fundamental energetic principle of creation. It is like gravity, that certain things attract each other. In fact, everything attracts each other, but certain things attract certain things more than other things attract certain things. Certain gravitational fields are more potent or relevant to certain objects than other gravitational fields. So now that you, now that you know that creation is nothing but love light at different frequencies, even physical matter is nothing but love light at a certain vibrational uh, energetic state of itself, wavelength, you can start to understand that there is nothing but vibration in this universe. Form is nothing but vibration. Consciousness exudes nothing but vibration and creates by no other means but conscious vibration itself. So since even physical matter is nothing but wavelengths of love light frequencies, you can also understand that your state of being must emit love light in a certain vibratory pattern or wavelength. So what happens when you change your state of being, your perspective about life, your response to life, what happens is that you change what you exude. You change the gravitational field that you emit as a being all the time. And so in this way, from this point of view, we can say that the law of attraction is an actual law. And not only that, it's an inescapable principle that, act, that is an active principle 24-7. Your consciousness is always vibrating at a certain state of being, at a certain vibrational attitude, at a certain state of the density of love light. And so depending upon the unique vibrational makeup of your present state of being, you will attract whatever corresponds with that vibratory pattern. Because your gravitational field will change its vibration to hook into certain objects and hook out of certain other objects or appearances or vibrations. So if you are of a certain vibration, then your gravitational field will be as such that it will lock into other vibratory patterns that are of a similar wavelength that it can actually lock into and become one wavelength. And so your gravitational field will stop to attract certain things that you previously attracted when you change your state of being. And it will start to actually live on a vibratory scale or level that will now start to attract in that sense appearances or things or configurations of this universe, parallel realities, into its consciousness experience that belong to that vibratory wavelength that you're naturally, effortlessly, inescapably so are emitting at this moment. So a valid question at any given moment is always, what am I sending out right now? How am I feeling right now? What is my state of being like right now? What is my vibrational attitude like right now? And then you can start to understand based on those observations and the answers that come up to those questions, you can understand much better the patterns of the life that you have created for yourself and why you have created certain things. It's because you vibrate at a certain gravitational field that attracts certain frequencies that then enter your experience and make up your creation. This is an inescapable, ever-present, always-on mechanism. And in that sense, it's a fundamental, universal law of creation. I agree. Yes, it is. And so it's best that you start to consciously utilize this instead of just let it be all over the place and have all these mixed frequencies that then attract all these mixed different gravitational uh, fields that then attract all these different um, vibratory patterns that you may or may not actually enjoy or want to utilize or experience in your life. So you got to learn how to learn from the contrast of your experiences, from the preference response of your being to your experiences. If you don't prefer a certain idea, then you're not pushing it away. You're simply notice, noticing more of who you actually are and who you're actually not anymore. Because as an individuation of consciousness, you will never be all that is. 
you are not meant to be all that is. You are meant to explore in a certain unique point of view and slice a theme of creation. So you're not meant to necessarily embrace everything as being what you desire. And this is a common misunderstanding in spirituality is that in order to become more as the one, you need to actually prefer everything that happens to you. This is not necessarily true. Now, what is true is that if you wish to come closer to the vibrational understanding of unity and the one being that you are, to the all that is consciousness that is the immediate expression of the infinite one, then yes, you need to understand that all things that appear are versions of yourself and they are all equally valid expressions of infinity. And that gives rise to love, to falling in love with all things as if they are yourself. Now this is true, they are yourself. But this is different than the idea that you need to prefer all things inside of your individuated point of view. Because your individual view, as we have stated in the previous lesson, some things are meant to disappear from view and others are meant and relevant to enter your view. This is how you generate a linear timeline thematic experience that then consciousness uses to learn from about itself. But it cannot learn from itself in this specific way if it would simply be aware of everything all at once, all the time, on all levels of its consciousness. All that is consciousness already sees everything as its preference. Now you can tap into that understanding and gain great sense of peace. Nevertheless, your individuated quote unquote job is still to also honor your preferences. And by preferences, I mean your true heartfelt passions, excitements, and preferences. You need to learn from the contrast of everyday life experiences that are offered to you. You can start to distinguish from that contrast, what resonates and what does not resonate. What is of your heart's preference and what is not of your heart's preference. And then without rejecting any of the things that you have previously attracted out of a mixed vibratory understanding of who you truly are, without rejecting it, but by simply embracing it, including it as part of all that is, as part of the infinite love that you are, and then still noticing simultaneously that, hey, that is a reflection of a version of myself that does not feel relevant for me right now. So thank you so much. I see how you have served me in the past, how you have been, been an exact reflection of who I have been, energetically speaking. But now it is time for me, out of this learning process, to actually rise from the ashes and become the next level me, the new, more crystal clear, more fine-tuned, more one-pointed version of the one that I desire to actually be in word, thought, deed, believe, action, feeling, and circumstance. So you learn from experiences, you extract learning from them. Through contrast, you make more obvious to yourself what is your heart's true preference, what is your soul's true preference, and what is not at this timing. And understand that that does not mean you're rejecting anything. It simply means you're actually including everything because you're using it in a proper way. You're using it to learn from, you're absorbing it, and you're transcending it by including it and then stating a new vibratory preference to yourself. And in this way, you keep redefining yourself and you keep becoming more clear, crystal clear, and you start to accelerate. Your vibration starts to go through the roof, through the roof, through the roof, constantly through the next roof, through the next roof. And you become this crystal clear, conscious, co-creating mechanism of infinity. And that is what your job is. That is what your duty is. It's to follow your heart, to follow your resonance, to act on what excites you, and to start changing your beliefs accordingly to what actually feels good and in alignment with your center of gravity, your center of being your center of attraction in that sense. Now, if you don't have a very clear understanding as to who you are, then anything can come to you. Again, because you're not yet clear and conscious and empowered, so everything comes to you based on all the mixed frequencies you send out on a daily basis. Because you've not made the state of being state conscious yet. You've not made it under your control yet. You've not mastered your vibratory vibrational attitude yet. You've not prioritized feeling truly, really good and centered and aligned and clear on a daily, day to day, moment to moment basis yet. That's quite all right. But that is why you see all these mixed reflections in your life on a daily basis. It's because you operate on all these different wavelengths of the gravitational field that is always ever present, that's always ever emanating from your beingness. Now you can fine tune this, and this is the purpose of empowered consciousness, of this teaching, of this particular course especially, is to learn how to master your state of being so that you can utilize the law of attraction 
in a way that actually works, that serves you, that serves your overall journey. Not just because you think you want certain things and then you have it and then you are all powerful. Yes, that's a beautiful natural aspect of the law of attraction and starting to utilize it consciously. But it's a holistic picture. The law of attraction works so that you can see reflected in circumstances exactly who you've assumed yourself to be in the past. It's this perfect feedback mechanism that you can learn from, that you can expand from and grow from and grow wiser and more loving from and more abundant in your understanding. So the law of attraction simply means that at all times you are attracting to yourself, to your view, to your consciousness, to the field of your consciousness, a particular set or series of parallel realities that are of a certain vibrational wavelength that match your state of being, that match your vibrational attitude, that match your perspective and understanding and belief system of who you are, what you are, and how life works and what is true and what's not true. Life constantly reflects you, you see. It is a constant mirror, mirroring who you are and who you've assumed yourself to be, who you exude yourself to be. So physical reality is nothing but a mirror. It's either smiling back at you if you smile, or frowning back at you or crying back at you if you're crying or frowning. So know that change starts within. It always starts with who you assume yourself to be. Become really clear on what is true. Become really clear on the fact that there is only abundance and no lack and that you are a creature of infinite worth, of infinite existent, existence, and that creation wants you to be you. You have to understand that you are infinitely worthy of existence. Otherwise you would not exist because overall consciousness does not mess up in that way. It does not accidentally create a soul. It creates a soul and a beingness and even a personal consciousness because that's exactly what it wants to explore. So you see, you are already permitted to be exactly who you are. So start radiating in that frequency of clarity so that you can start to attract the things that are more and more relevant for you and help you accelerate even further and make the definition of who you truly are, the understanding, the clarity as to who you truly are, even more clear so that you can start to execute your theme in this life with grace, with confidence, with clarity, one-pointedness and a sense of empowerment that is unrivaled in any past experiences that you've had so far. So you cannot escape attracting something to yourself right now because you cannot escape being a consciousness that generates an experience of its state of being in manifest form as a reflection of the state of being. This is an always ever present, always on principle, an active principle of creation. Therefore, yes, we could call it a law. It's a fundamental law of creation is that of the law of attraction. So simply become more conscious of the fact that you always attract something to yourself and that since everything is benign and since there is free will on all layers of your consciousness, that all the things that you actually desire are actually already trying to get to you. That your higher self is already, because that is also always emanating your true frequency, who you truly are beyond your mixed up unconscious frequencies and ideas about what is true, how worthy you are, whether you're unworthy or not, etc. All these things on the true core frequency that is always emanating from the center of your being, it doesn't matter what you think or believe. That will always be the true you. But this life is simply a process of getting in alignment with that true understanding and expanding upon it and making it manifest and making it an active principle, an active manifest physicalized experience. That is why you are here, to create in physical form who you already effortlessly, inescapably are on a true non-physical level of your consciousness. The radiance that you already are on a true level of your being. And this is what you always feel as the center of your alignment. And so when you believe things that are out of alignment with this true vibratory pattern that's always on, the true crown of your experience, when you step out of alignment of that using your perspectives, which are vibrations, and you start attracting things that are not of your resonance, you will feel a little nasty. You will feel a little depressed. You will feel contracted. That is meant, again, as a guidance system to place you right back squarely put in your, squarely placed in your own center of being, in that radiance of your true crown energy. So, start utilizing the law of attraction by understanding that you always attract something and that therefore it's crucial to mind how you feel so that you can guide yourself back into alignment and become the being that always feels good. You are worthy of this. You are meant to do this because this is how you create and this is how you learn at an accelerated pace. This is how you benefit and contribute to the universe. 
instead of suffering. Suffering does not contribute. If you're not happy, you're not helping. So if you want to be selfless and not care about how you feel, then you have to care about how you feel. Otherwise, you cannot be truly selfless. You cannot be truly of service if you don't first mind how you feel so that you guide yourself back clearly in alignment with who you truly already are on a non-physical level all the time. And then when your personal vibration is in alignment with your higher self's true vibration, which can never be deleted or polluted, which is always pure and pristine. But when you line up, when you become transparent to that frequency, then the manifestation that already wants to be attracted to you can now effortlessly be attracted to you. So it's not so much a, um, a matter of actively trying to attract something to you. It's more a matter of allowing in what is already being emanated and attracted to you 24 seven. It's more a process of allowing in what you already desire, what is already part of your true frequency because it already wants to rush into your experience. If it's seemingly not manifesting, it's because you're keeping it away with some out of alignment, bad feeling beliefs. Figure them out, resolve them, and be resolved, be committed to step back into your center of alignment so that you can be in the state of allowing the things that are already emanated by your non-physical mind or your higher self's consciousness to effortlessly be made manifest. So for the purpose of this homework, the homework of this lesson, um, simply write down again some of the things that you desire as you did in the previous lesson, but now you went from lack to abundance, which is absolutely great. You went from resistance to your true self to allowance of your true self, basically. If you did this exercise I gave in the previous lessons homework. And now simply rest in the vibration, start practicing to rest in the vibration of your true self, in, in the allowance of your true self. Start to feel the abundance of the essence that you are, that you desire to become more of in physical form too. So simply take that same list or create a new list of whatever you feel you are truly excited about right now and go through that list and one by one, sit for like maybe four minutes with each of these sentences, each of these key principles that you desire and sit with them for like two to five minutes embodying the energy of that particular resonance and just allowing it in and seeing that you are worthy of that desire, seeing endlessly so that you are worthy of that attraction and that it's already being sent out, but that the attraction wants to come to you. You simply have to line up with it and become who you already are in energy, in vibratory state. A state of being is always honored because that is your free will. So if your free will insists that it's unworthy of what you desire, that it's not right to ask for the things you desire or to, to be who you truly are, then that has to be honored by your higher self's attraction field. So you will be on a different gravitational resonance field and you will attract different things that may not be in the highest alignment for you at this timing. So it's crucial that you start to pay attention to how you feel and make it a priority, care about your life enough, care about your selflessness and your selfishness enough to actually put yourself back into your center of alignment so that these things that are already wanting to come your way can now be made visible, can now enter your view. The law of attraction is an ever active ingredient of your experience. It is always on, it cannot be escaped. So learn to play with it, learn to master it, learn to consciously accept and receive more of who you already are. Have fun.